Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I have a um, request that I had from a subscriber and she asked me to do my non-dominant hand. So yeah, it's not pretty, but this is how I do it. <laughs> um, I've heard apparently the best nail techs hate doing their own nails, so um, please remember that I'm not trained. This is all self-taught. Um, so yeah, I thought I would just share some tips and tricks to how you can perfect doing your non-dominant hand. So the first tip I have is to set your dappen dish, your powder and everything up in a way that suits you. There will not be a set way that will suit everyone. So by the way that you hold your brush, where you put your hand, it will all be different. So it's all practice, it's all trial and error and working out what works for you and what doesn't. Um, and that is a, a big thing. Um, as I feel like as soon as you've got that down, you feel more comfortable in your surroundings and you kind of get into it a bit more. Um, another thing is holding the brush. Don't feel like just because of how you hold the brush with your dominant hand, that's how you should hold it with your non-dominant hand. You can probably see here in this shot, definitely, that my hand is a lot more spread out than it normally is with, my, with the brush in my dominant hand. Don't do something just because you feel like it's how you should do it. Do it how it feels comfortable and how it makes sense to you. I would say another thing is just take your time. Don't rush it. Don't, especially the first couple of times, don't feel like you're under any time pressure. Just be relaxed. While I was doing this, I was watching Making a Murderer. Just have something on in the background so that you're not so engrossed in what you're doing and kind of just use your instincts instead of overthinking every step. Because the chances are you know how to do all of this. You're just freaked out that you're doing it on the wrong hand which I know I do sometimes but yeah the other thing to remember is anything can be corrected with filing as long as it's not too thin so if anything go a little bit too bulky so that you can file it down rather than go too thin and then have to file it and then reapply and then file it yeah don't make it obviously don't make it too bulky because then you've got a whole lot of work to do but I do have some tips on how to file with your non-dominant hand so hopefully that will help another thing that I find really helps is um, you might see it in some of the clips in here is using your dominant hand to clean your brush so don't feel like you have to do everything with your non-dominant hand even if you wanted to go I know I've done it in the past picking the bead up so picking up the monomer, draining the brush out and picking up the powder with your dominant hand and then switching to your non-dominant hand to then place the bead. That isn't an issue, just any way it works, just get it done. I didn't want to fast forward this video too much because I kind of wanted you to see how my timing is and how long I take over doing each nail and don't get me wrong it used to be a lot lot longer um, this is practice and that's the one thing I just want to reiterate more than anything is you have to practice don't expect to do it on your first or second time and be amazing at it it will take practice you just have to keep going with it something else that I've learned along the way which is something that someone suggested once, is always do your non-dominant hand. So do the nails on your dominant hand first, because then anything you can do with your non-dominant hand, you can then replicate on your dominant hand. See what I mean? So for me, I'm right-handed. So anything I can do on my left, on my right hand, using my left hand to apply it, 
I can then do that on my left hand with my right hand. So it kind of makes life a little bit easier for you rather than starting out using your dominant hand and then coming to your non-dominant hand using your non-dominant hand and realizing that actually it's really really hard so that's definitely something that i would recommend and especially when you start doing them on yourself try using more simple techniques so if it's just one color or i mean here the ombre is a bit more difficult on your non-dominant hand but something that you feel comfortable with a technique that you know and that you've got nailed just use that technique and just practice that's that's all i can recommend just keep trying and don't get put off because the first time i did my own nails they were ugly but you have to do that to get better you have to learn from your mistakes So this bit here I've just sped up and this is just applying the glitters. It does take a while because you're trying not to flood the cuticle, trying to build the colour up not make it patchy. But if you want to see the glitters that I've used and you want to see the final result then that's all on my next video which should be coming out on Sunday. Um, that will all be uploaded and it will tell you the exact glitters and it will show you the final look. This video is literally just to show you how I do my non-dominant hand and just to give you hopefully some tips and tricks that you find help you in your process of trying to do your own nails. So after this I went in and clear capped with my clear acrylic but kind of thought that you'd seen enough acrylic application with my non-dominant hand so we are going straight into filing. So my biggest and ultimate tip here is to use your dominant hand as much as possible. You can see here I'm basically holding the file still with my left hand and rocking my right hand backwards and forwards. This makes life so much easier I mean around the cuticle yes you do have to use your left hand and that is a movement that your left hand has to get used to but the biggest biggest tip I can honestly give you is to use your dominant hand as much as possible so here literally holding the file still and moving obviously I'm rotating my thumb around creating that apex you know making the shape that we all know we need to make that is the biggest tip, try and use the 
most comfortable hand as much as possible so yeah <laughs> this is just a little clip of me filing and yes it's so hard to keep it in shot when you're trying to do your non-dominant hand um it's a whole different kettle of fish to <laughs> how i record normally but yes i hope this video has helped you in some way um lush junkie i hope you liked the video i hope it was what you were hoping for please everyone let me know if there's any other videos that you would want me to do i'm always open to suggestions i'm happy to do um, videos of things that you want to see content that you would like to watch so please feel free to let me know any comments suggestions anything like that thank you as always for watching i will be back on sunday with the whole look on my non-dominant hand i've said dominant and non-dominant so much in this video um, but yes, if you want to see the whole completed look, check out the video on Sunday and I'll give you the whole rundown of how it was all done. So yes, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.